Hi everyone, and welcome to Gwen Collects. If you watched my last video, you would know that this week I promised an Evangelion collection slash haul. So two of these figures I actually got for Christmas from my amazing family. And one of these figures that I'm going to be showing you today, actually I bought myself just after Christmas. So I'm really excited to be showing you these. I'm also going to be showing Misato again. I showed her in one of my previous videos. I'll link the, the haul that I got her in above but I will be showing her again in this video just kind of for completion's sake. But I'm really excited to be showing you all my figures and Evangelion is an interesting anime for me. Before I show you the figures, I kind of want to go into it a little bit because if you watched my art video, you may have noticed that I said I didn't like Evangelion that much and that kind of still holds true. L let me explain myself here. So Neon Genesis Evangelion was one of the first few anime I ever watched and I was expecting, I don't know what I was expecting, but what I got was not what I expected, especially the ending. I felt like with, with Neon Genesis Evangelion that I almost got tricked into watching it. Like it seemed like the premise was so interesting and so cool. And I expected them to like explain this premise at all. And it was just never explained. <laughs> and that really put me off. Like the last few episodes really, I felt like had nothing to do with the rest of the series. So I was so confused by it. I watched End of Evangelion hoping to get like a better idea of how the ending actually worked. And I still feel like I didn't get that like conclusion that I wanted. But as the months have kind of gone on and I've watched tons of anime since Neon Genesis Evangelion, I realized something kind of interesting. There are so many anime I watched that I binged them all in one day and then forgot about. Like they meant nothing to me. They were good, whatever. I added them to my anime list and then like moved on. But ever since I finished Evangelion, I was always thinking about it. And I watched some like theory videos and stuff on YouTube about it to try and like fill that void because I just felt like I didn't understand any of the, the background knowledge of the show. And like watching those videos helped for sure. But I think as the months have gone on, I've been able to grasp more like what Evangelion is really about. And I think it's more about the characters than the story. I do love the characters of Neon Genesis Evangelion and I'm super excited to be showing you these figures today. So now that I'm done talking, <laughs> let's get into it. All right, so the first figure I'm going to be talking about is one that if you've watched any of my other videos, you may have seen me talk about. So this is one of my absolute grail figures. Misato is my favorite character from Evangelion. So I was super excited to pick her up. I got her from a Canadian retailer called Navito World in Toronto, and I got her brand new. So I'm super, super happy with this figure. I won't talk about her for too long, but uh, she is a non-scale figure from Union Creative. And honestly, I think this is definitely the sexiest figure in my collection. Misato looks great and uh, I'm really, really happy that I added this figure to my collection. I think she looks super cool on the shelf as well with all of my other Ava figures. So I'm really happy to have this beautiful girl and I really, really hope to one day get the Kotobukiya Misato figure. Uh, I, I've had my eye out for her. If I ever find her pre-owned or something like that, I'll definitely pick her up. But this Misato is definitely my favorite and I am super, super happy that she was my first Ava figure. Moving on to the next Evangelion figure that I have, I have the beautiful Asuka Langley by Alter. So this is a 1 7th scale, I believe. Hopefully 1 7th. This is a 1 7th scale figure from Alter. I got this figure from my parents for Christmas. I was honestly so excited to see this. I had told my mom I really liked this one uh, and she got it for me. So I was super pumped about this. This figure is absolutely gorgeous. Alter really never disappoints and uh, they definitely didn't disappoint here. Now I'll admit, I haven't actually watched the movie that this is from. I think this figure is from Evangelion 3.0 you cannot redo. I haven't watched it. I don't know why Asuka has an eye patch. Don't spoil it for me. <laughs> I'll eventually watch it for sure, but Asuka was my favorite character in the original series and in End of Evangelion. So I was very happy to get this one for Christmas. 
A few other things I really like about this figure is I think her bomber jacket is super cool. And I really like that you can switch out her head and her arm. So there is this pose with her cool little cat hat on and her hand holding the brim. But there's also another hand that you can attach to her shoulder and it goes in her pocket. So her pocket's kind of like domed here. And when you attach the other arm, it really looks like her hand is in the pocket. It, it's really cool how they did it. I really, really like how they did it because the figure looks great whether or not the hand is in the pocket. So I'm really happy about that. And uh, obviously I love the little kitty hat. <laughs> so I have that, I have her posed with that on right now. But the other pose is really cool. And her head without the hat on, her hair is blowing a little bit more and it looks so nice. Like the hair sculpt on this figure is incredible. Probably the best hair sculpt on any of my figures, I would say. I also feel like they really got the hair color true to the anime with this figure. Another figure I'm gonna be showing you, I don't like the hair color as much, but this Asuka definitely nails it with the hair. Uh, additionally, I really like her face in this. Usually Asuka's kind of the tsundere look, so she's kind of angry, but this one I feel like is more of a determined look. And I feel like Asuka's a really complex and badass character. And I like that they gave her more of a serious look in this figure. Additionally, obviously her legs look fantastic. The pose for this figure is amazing. And I really like the kind of like looking back pose that she's doing. I don't know, it looks really neat on the shelf. I think it's just very unique, especially in contrast to all of my other figures. She's really the only one that's doing a pose like this. So I really appreciate that. And I really like how she looks in my collection. I only have one gripe about this figure and it's the base. I feel like her feet don't really attach to the base all that well. And this kind of causes her to lean a little bit, which I don't like. I wish she was just a little bit more centered on the base, but it's just a minor criticism. Other than that, this figure is perfect and I'm very happy that she is in my collection. All right, so next up here, I have another Asuka figure. So this is the 1 6th Asuka from Kotobukiya. So this Asuka is actually a cool figure because she has this super neat base. Whoop. As you can see, she's not attached at all to the base. She just kind of balances on it on the shelf, which looks super, super cool on the shelf, but makes me a little nervous holding her like this. Um, so I'll just hold Asuka for now. So this figure is a really, really nice figure, especially for the price point. I like how she is uh, so large and honestly the detailing is really really nice. This figure I think costs about 89 US dollars, which is pretty great for a figure of this size and quality She also has let me just grab it here She also has this little like cat helmet that goes in her hand just since I'm holding her up right now uh, It's hard to keep it in her hand. This whole figure is definitely a balancing act and it stays together when it's on the shelf, but not so much when you're just holding it. So this figure is absolutely beautiful. And honestly, the quality isn't quite as good as the altar figure of Asuka, but it's honestly almost there. And the price difference between the two is pretty great. I don't know what the retail price of the, uh, the Asuka is or this one in Japanese yen. I'll put them on the screen. But honestly, in comparison, if I were to recommend an Asuka figure, Especially if you're on a budget, I would highly recommend this one. Or there's another Kotobukiya one where Asuka's kneeling and she's wearing a different plug suit. And that one is super nice as well. I honestly think Kotobukiya just kills it with their Evangelion figures. And really any of them would be a good addition to anyone's collection. My only gripe with this figure is I feel like her hair isn't as nice as the Alter Asuka. The color isn't quite as good in my opinion and the shading is not as good. The Alter Asuka just has more like flow to her hair in my opinion. And I like the paint job a little bit better on that one. But again, there is a price difference between the two. So I can't really fault them. This Asuka looks great. I think this Asuka also gets bonus points for the amazing base. Like this thing is so well detailed and beautiful. And honestly, she just looks so cool on my shelf. Much cooler in my opinion than the Alter one does. The other really nice thing about this Asuka is that there's actually a matching ray. So the last figure I have to show you is actually the matching ray figure. So let me grab that. 
and here is the matching ray. So this figure is beautiful. And this is also by Kotobukiya. It is a 1 6th Rei Ayanami figure. Now, I believe that this Rei actually doesn't go exactly with that Asuka. Uh, there is a different Asuka that's from Neon Genesis Evangelion that Kotobukiya sells, but I preferred that version of the Asuka, so I, I asked for that one for Christmas. But this Rei is the Neon Genesis Evangelion Rei. There's also another Rei that's really, really pretty that is wearing a black plug suit. I really, really love that one, but this one I actually ordered myself after Christmas, after getting that Asuka, uh, and this one was on sale for a great price. I think I got her for 59 US dollars, which is an absolute steal for a 1 6th figure of this quality. So I went for this one. I think the Ray in the black plug suit was also on sale, but I honestly really loved the white plug suit and the pose of this figure I liked a little bit better, so. I went with this one, even though it's not necessarily the exact match to my Asuka. So a little bit about the figure. Uh, this Ray, in my opinion, is probably better than the Asuka, just in the shading and paint job on her suit. I really love how they used like a lavender paint to add a little bit more detail and depth to her plug suit. And I really, really love the pearlescent paint that they used. I actually took a photo and like upped the highlights and stuff. I can like put it right here. <laughs> And uh, it looked so good of this figure. So I think I think the pearlescent suit just really sells me on this figure. And I didn't realize it would be pearlescent until I got it. Additionally, her hair looks awesome. I love the gradient from like the light color to the more like clear blue ends. It just looks so good. There is a pretty prominent seam across the top of her head, but honestly for 60 US dollars, I'm not complaining about anything on this figure. The other thing I like about this Ray is she's much more attached to the base than the Asuka is. She's actually like grabbing onto the rock and then her one leg goes kind of around it. It took me a while to figure out how to get her on to this rock base because she kind of like clips around it. Otherwise you kind of are like struggling like this, but uh oh, did I mess it up? Okay, there we go. But she just kind of like clips on like that. And uh, she looks great on here. Now, if I did have one gripe about this figure, it would be that it's an extremely directional figure. So when you're looking at her from about this angle, she looks beautiful and she photographs super well. But if you look at her basically from any other angle, she looks kind of weird. Um, like the front, her face just looks a bit strange and when you're in such a dynamic pose like this, I think figure manufacturers kind of, uh, they struggle a little bit with this where you sometimes have to sacrifice viewing angles if you want to do these really interesting poses. So I understand that, but I do have a few fi figures that look great from any angle and I wouldn't say that she is one of them. That said though, I think if you put her on a lower shelf, so kind of below eye level, and then pose her from the front, if you would like to pose her from the front, I think she would still look cool because she'd be like looking up. But yeah, if you're at eye level, the front view, nah, it's not good, it's not good. But the back view is very, very nice. I will add footage obviously of Ray, and I will also add some footage of the two of them together because I think they look really nice together and I would recommend if you're going to purchase any of these Kotobukiya Evangelion figures, purchase the set. They just look so nice on the shelf together. I know there's a Kawaru as well, and he looks really nice. I probably won't get him, but I would definitely consider it. And there's also a Mari as well that looks really nice, but I haven't watched any of the material that Mari's in, so I haven't picked up any figures of her yet. All right, so those are my current Evangelion figures. I hope you enjoyed this haul and collection. Um, <laughs> I'll insert a clip of my shelf so you can kind of see how they all look. I'm really, really happy with how my Evangelion shelf is coming along. There's definitely a few more Evangelion figures I'd like to add to my collection, especially a few from the Radio Ava collection. I love the streetwear style of those figures and I'm of the opinion that the colorful ones are better. I know a lot of people love the like black and white look of the Radio Ava figures and those are super cool variants if you're into that but I love my colorful figures, so 
if I do pick any up, I really, really want the Ray, and I missed the pre-order on that one, so if I do pick any up, Ray will definitely be on the list in the colored version. And I've seen there's a painted prototype at some kind of like festival or showing or something like that of the Kawaru figure, and he looks amazing, so I'll definitely get the Kawaru, and hopefully the Shinji looks just as good. I'm sure he will. So. Those will most likely be added to my collection as they come out. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the Asuka Radio Ava. I don't like her shoes, they're kind of weird, but I love everything else about the figure. That one I'm not super keen on getting, but the Kaoru, Shinji, and Rei I really, really want from that collection. So fingers crossed I can get those when they come out. All right, thanks for sticking around to the end of this video. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching, bye.